Hello, my name is Tyler Wilbanks. I'm the Director of Environmental Health and Safety for PS Logistics. Um, as you're aware, we are right during the hottest part of the year, uh, during the summer months. Um, hopefully over the past couple of uh, several weeks, you've received messages to your truck in regards to heat related illnesses as well as preventative measures. Um, and I, hopefully most of you have completed the drive for gold training for May. Uh, we extended it through June that also addresses heat related illnesses and preventative measures. Uh, but today we really wanted to take just a little bit deeper dive into that, look at heat related illnesses, symptoms, as well as preventative measures. OSHA recommends the following steps to prevent heat related illnesses. First and foremost, we wanna make sure you're drinking plenty of water to stay hydrated. They recommend at least one cup every 20 minutes and remember to drink even if you are not thirsty. Water is generally sufficient for short jobs. However, for longer jobs, uh, drink an electrolyte containing beverage such as a sports drink. Avoid energy drinks and soft drinks. Make sure to take your time and take rest breaks while you're working. Take enough time to recover from heat given the temperature, humidity, and conditions. Where possible, try to find a shaded area to work. Wear light colored clothing, Breathable fabric is best. Monitor for signs of heat illnesses such as headache or nausea, weakness or dizziness, heavy sweating, or hot, dry skin. Elevated body temperature, thirst, and decreased urine output can also be signs of heat-related illnesses. If you are experiencing these, make sure to drink water, remove any unnecessary clothing, and move to a cool area. When in doubt, seek medical attention immediately. Continue to stretch and use proper ergonomics during the summer months. This is the best way to mitigate any potential for strained or sprained muscles. Three points of contact is also very important during the summer months. Make sure you're using three points of contact at all times. As we mentioned earlier, make sure you are taking your time, not rushing, which will create a greater risk of a slip, trip, and fall. Finally, as a reminder, make sure to complete your drive for gold training if you have not done so. For the months of May and June, it is on heat safety training and is available underneath the Opportunities tab. As always, we thank you for everything you do for us out on the road. Um, your safety is and always will be our top priority. Um, if you have any questions, uh, what we talked about today, please reach out to the safety department. And again, thank you for everything you do.